Taking a look at today's interest rate markets, let's look at the 10 year note futures as they're experiencing some pretty heavy selling pressure today after four consecutive days of higher price action and intraday 10 year note futures trading up to the highest level in three weeks. We are experiencing some selling pressure today. Now, when you look at today's price action, uh, initially we did see 10 year note futures trading up all the way to 111 spot 12 spot five. Uh, and that December future, in reaction to some of the early stories and narratives, so particularly, I think, surrounding the jobs data, but then the manufacturing data came out, and that was much stronger than anticipated, reversing the price action in 10-year note futures, and now we're seeing them basically on their lows at 110 spot 1.4 as we move towards the afternoon. And when you look at the driving factors, really, the primary driver appears to be some of the data points throughout the week highlighted by today's great data points but the manufacturing number i think caught a lot of uh, market participants off guard as we're seeing a shift there after months of declining data points and uh, that i think is one of the primary drivers as to why the selling pressure continues to persist throughout the session and we look at the uh, price action here the 10-year yield now is up 10 basis points a day to uh, 419 basis points so we're moving back up towards the top end of the recent range and the yield curve is shifting higher all the way from the twos to the thirties, pretty much in unison today as selling pressure is pretty heavy from uh, the short dated notes all the way out to the longer dated treasuries and moving that yield curve back up uh, towards again, the top end of the recent range, which corresponds with the top end of the range really for going back to the late 2022 in the price action. Uh, so selling pressure here today, reversal of sorts, and the 10-year note futures uh, trading lower and pushing yields higher on the session.